Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our let's play of uh, Let's say Kingdom Hearts Fire Emblem Path of Radiance uh, We are going to keep it going here chapter 15 Where are we right now? Castle Kilvis. Cool Oh my, if it isn't young Prince Serenus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Niluchi, you're looking well. And feeling well too, thank you very much. This old crow's as spry as ever. <laughs> Tell me though, how fair is your father, King Orzae? Orazie? Same as ever. Since that terrible day, he remains abed. He seldom rises anymore. Hmm, I'm not surprised. In the span of a few days, he lost his family, his friends, and almost all of his countrymen. Yes. And yet, we're blessed that you are still with us. Prince Rayson, if there's anything that this doddering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. I appreciate your kind sentiment. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Rayson. Yolichi, you can talk ancient history later. Leave us at once. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you've much to talk about, much to say. I'll just take my leave of you. Please, Prince Rayson, make yourself at home. <laughs> Old Neoluchi's always been fond of House Serenus. When he heard the White Prince himself was gracing us with, with the visit, he could barely contain his joy. So, Prince, what's this all about? We haven't seen your face around here in a long time, and I'm naturally quite curious as to your intentions. Your attitude during the Goldoa meeting piqued my interest. What is it you're after, Nesala? Why do you provoke to barn? You came all this way for that? Are you serious? Do not mock me, Crow King. Tabarn is my father's guardian. If not for him, we might have suffered the end of House Serenus itself. I will not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see. So rather than ally yourself with me, your trusted companion of old, you would side with this new protector? That's an unfortunate shift in attitude. I trust you remember that when you and your sister were young, it was I and not Tabarn who watched over you? Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roost, Nesala. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with my enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship the two of us once shared. Oh no, that I could never do. You see, humans are essential to the fulfillment of my ambitions. You've changed, Nasala. If this is the path you've chosen, I've nothing left to say. Hello. I doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard Kilvis, Prince, to protect an entire country. King Nesala, Dutanus of the Benyon Imperial Senate has arrived. Bring him in. Your Majesty, just now, I brushed upon the most... against the most splendid specimen. Was that a Serenus noble? They're supposed to be extinct. And what if it were? Oh, I was right. Wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings and that shimmering hair sparkling like falling golden like falling gold dust. That is the crystallization of beauty in its purest form. Duke Oliver, can we please discuss the business at hand? Per your request, we have appropriated several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gatos. Yes, yes, and you will be compensated as promised. For right now there is something else that I must that I simply must have. Really? Another request? What can we purloin for you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, something much more stunning. And if you agree to my proposition, I will double your normal fee. That is a most generous offer. Tell me, what is it you desire? Desire? But surely you've already guessed. Come on, let's race in. Minel Cathedral. Meeting with the Apostle was fine, but all she did was pay us and give us another job. She answered no questions. I wonder what she's planning. That cargo. I can't help but believe that there were living creatures inside, but... What do you suppose the Apostle intends to do with them? I don't know. Tanya, are all nobles and royals like this? They have plans and paperwork for every little thing, and their speech is as confusing as it is te tedious. But Ike, the other nobles we know are different. There's Princess Valencia and King Gallia, and the Dragon Prince, too. All of them have been so nice and friendly and easy to talk to. Perhaps the rudeness of the upper echelon is unique to the Bayor class system. Princess Valencia was raised in special circumstances. Maybe that's why she's so different. 
Bah, I can never get accustomed to the culture of Bayork nobles. Pike, I'm here to report the results from the last battle. Tanya and Makalaw. Tanya's MVP, Makalaw's new ally. Currently have just over 10,000 gold. Great. Okay. Support. Tanya and Reese. Okay, so that's one less thing to worry about. Okay, everyone's good there. Now I don't want to Okay. 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 Um. Soren. <coughs> cool. It's something. My, yeah, my Cavaliers are not going to be useful, really. So what I think I'm going to do... Um, is I'm going to promote Reese, I think. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm okay with that. She needs more experience. <laughs> Fifteen, I think that's good. I think that's good enough. Okay, Reese's promotion to a bishop. Here we go. There he is. Got high heels now. Yes, yeah, so he's not like great for combat, but that's okay. Um, honestly, like I just want. To have a light. Uh, I guess I got it. Okay, so. with Soren and Boyd. There we go. And then Soren. Not this level I'm gonna use it. Um Oh wait, no, I'm having Okay. Uh this is a desert can't are you kidding me? She's, she's gotta be close though. Right? Like and then void. 
and then <coughs> have some water quickly. I guess that's really all I can do right now. Tell me, Soren, are you alright? Hmm? Recently, ever since we reached Benyon, in fact, you've seemed depressed. Is that so? How odd. Well, I can think of nothing specific that's bothering me. Well, if you say so. So it's time for the desert, which is the best direction to enter from. Soren? Eh? Yes, what is it? Alright, I know there's something going on. I'm, I'm sorry, I was thinking, what is it you wanted? Well, I was going to ask you for directions, but it's no longer necessary. It looks like we're being met. Ah. <laughs> Who are you? Answer me. We're mercenaries. We were hired to take care of a group of bandits operating in this area. More of the senator's dogs. You cast us as thieves so you can murder us and hide your guilt. But we will not be defeated. Mark my words, the day will come when all slaves are free, and then you will pay for your crimes. What on earth are you talking about? No more useless words. Come, my brothers, take them. Okay, so, I think... Okay, so I know I get... I'll think about it after. What? We're facing Lagos? I don't like the look of this. Lagos or no, if it doesn't change the fact that they are brigands. Do not lower your guard. I know what I'm doing. Everyone, watch your footing in the sand. Take care and fight well. Okay, so I'm... I'm... Split. I'm torn. At the one, on the one hand, they... The Lagus give a lot of experience. On the other hand, I get a lot of experience, a lot of bonus experience, for... I should get a lot of experience, I feel like it's up to 600 or something like that, um, for not killing. Then, you know what? No, I'm gonna go for just regular. Okay, we'll get rid of them for now. Mordecai and Leth will help. Soth will help for items, because there's a bunch of hidden items on this map. Okay, um... Okay. Yeah, so we'll do that. I'm not really going to be able to use them much, but... 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so so is gonna go here. Okay. Not ideal, but that's fine. This is I mean this I'm not worried about. Nice. Nice crit. See this kill. This is also critting, okay. Just kidding, Jill will kill this guy. And Soap will start moving back over here.
take, we're good there. Up. See ya, I can get this kill. Void, a bit of experience here. Get him to level up, which is nice. <clears throat> cool. And then Mordecai. Okay. And then Reese can heal. Transforming going on. Yeah, she's fine. Oh, still fine. And she gets a level up. Physic is like, I want to say, right there, roughly. There we go. Any more Mordecai? Soren kills the cat. Reese weakens the tiger. And Jill gets the kill. Tiger down there. 
I still heal. We got like good hit. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, 19. Okay, and then we'll just give Oscar this kill. I don't think I'm using Zyre very much. Which is okay. I think I, I feel better off just doing what I normally do. Um, get a bit more experience that way. She still has some energy left. There. Last we'll get some healing. We should get the kill. And a level up. Level four. Okay. There's no more enemies. So, Mordecai up. So, can we start moving over here? Boy, start heading towards the boss. Uh, Zyre, go move there. It's not doubling, that's okay. Okay, Volk. Going so can go here. I usually use Leth for this, but we're gonna use Mordecai. Sniff. Er, something's here beneath the sand. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm over here. So there you are. You are good at hiding. 
be praised by one of the beast tribes is an honor. I'm Stefan. I live here in this desolate wasteland, playing at being a hermit. Who are you? I haven't seen you in these parts before. I am Mordecai, a warrior of Gallia. This is the first time I have walked beyond the borders of my country. I thought that might be the case, and I was right. Whew, I'm ever so clever. Mordecai, listen here. I'm interested in the beast tribes of Gallia. Would you mind talking with me? I'll buy dinner. Um, my friends and I are fighting, so I cannot. Sorry. Very well, then. I will help you. Once this battle's finished, you'll have time to converse, right? Yes? Alright. If you will fight with us, then I will call Stefan a friend. Later, we will talk about Gallia. I'm looking forward to it. Right then, off we go. Yes, off we go. Right then. Okay. So Stefan is huge because he's now higher level than Titania. Same level as Titania. He's got good stats. Like, those are real good stats. And the bag caddy. So, I'm good. <clears throat> okay. Marcia, a chance at some experience. We'll give Soren. Companions are not thieves. I'm sure you could not care less, though. Okay, Soren. Go off. Level 16. Okay, and Reese is going to heal. Uh, heal Jill, sorry. Okay, and Jill is going to get the kill. Or not. Oh no. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? 26. 22. Speed of 10. Speed of 12. Wait, nine. Wait, four. Okay. I'm sure Reese is fine. I am sure that Reese is fine. There you go, Boyd. Have some healing. good because it gets me experience faster. So this is now level 8. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay, we are, we're good. Alright, let's see, it gets a level. She's level 13. Yay. Okay, and Jill gets some healing from Maurice. Okay. And then... Regular wind. And Soren gets the kill. Okay, well... I missed out on two items, but that's fine. Burke, no. Ha, we lose. You, you're the leader of this band, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'll resist you no further. Take me with you or execute me here? I care not. I'm my companions. Would you let them go, please? No, I won't allow it. Huh? I won't let you take more of them. Stay back, little one. You were not supposed to expose. If you want more, you'll have to kill me first. You're... Yes, he is a bear child. I claimed him when he was little more than an infant. He has nothing to do with us subhumans. Stop lying. I'm here because I want to be. Who's the leader of the Lagu's Emancipation Army? I am. You're a big jerk, moron. You're trying to cover for everyone and get yourself killed? I won't allow it. Little one. Hey, I don't care who the real leader is. A Lagus who calls himself a subhuman is protecting a kidnapped Bayor who claims to lead a Lagus emancipation army. Do I have that right? Because if I do, I have absolutely no idea what any of you are talking about. 
Can someone please tell me what is going on here? All right, please go over that again. It's been customary throughout Benyon's history to keep Lagus as slaves. That's right. But that's in the past. 20 years ago, all slavery was outlawed and all Lagus were freed. And as far as the general public is concerned, that is exactly what happened. So there's a portion of society that, is willingly break, that willingly breaks the law. Commoners obey, but there are still many Lagu slaves in the, house, in the homes of nobles. Warm and I brought this to the attention of the senators, but they would not listen. That's why we gathered our fighters. We break into homes where slaves are kept and help them escape. Of course, the nobles can't let this be known publicly, so they brand us thieves and turn us into wanted outlaws. Alright, I think I understand your motives, but you're not going to solve the basic problem this way. We know that, but we can't give up and leave them in chains. We can't and won't. Do you mind if I try to help? Huh? This sort of barrack behavior is something that's been bothering me. I think there may be something that I can do. <clears throat> Nisala, stop this foolishness. Where are you taking me? Tell me. It's only a little farther. I'll tell you once we've arrived, just as I promised. I left no word with Tabarn. If I had known we were coming this far, I would have left a message. Here we are. This is what I wanted to show you. Look below you, Rayson. What do you see? What? What is this? How is this possible? What happened here? This Serenus? Is this what you're trying to tell me? This colorless vista, these cracked and withered branches, these lifeless trees. This is my forest? Words I can't read. The ancient tongue. It's been many years since I heard it last. You can still speak it. The voice of the forest is still. Why? How did this... It's been like this since your clan's been gone. The area near the entrance is especially bad. They used fire. Most of the trees are dead. Unforgivable. How how can they do things like this? Cursed humans. What did this forest do? What did my clan do? Humans hold all lagus in contempt. And in the same way, they, all, they hold all of nature in contempt as well. They think everything exists for their pleasure and betterment. They are beneath contempt. Nisala, it appears that I have misjudged you. I called you a groveling toady to humans and labeled you a traitor. I was overly harsh. I apologize. A toady? Not to worry. I engage in occasional commerce with humans. That much is true. A more pressing issue is the growing darkness. You can return to Phoenicus tomorrow, can you not? I'm certain that some noble has a villa in this area. At this time of year, it is almost certain to be empty. I suggest we borrow it for the evening. You would sleep in a human building? Think about it. For folk like you and I have no night vision whatsoever. If we were discovered by humans, they would surely overwhelm and capture us, right? Hmm. I see your point. It's a trap racing. Very good. I'll go stumble around until I find something to eat. Please, make yourself comfortable. Isala. Yes? Thank you. For everything you've done, I, I appreciate it. Don't be ridiculous. We're old friends, are we not? Right, you are, old friend. Is everything in place? Yes. That Duke Tannis cannot sit still. He is literally quivering with anticipation. It's not pretty. I bet it isn't. Just make sure that mountainous to it stays hidden. If Rayson catches so much as a glimpse of his bulk, he will take wing. <laughs> Understood. Now, time to put on the finishing touches. This too I do to raise up Kilvis. Grayson, please don't judge me too harshly. That being said, I'm sure you will. Ah oh, well, such is life. Enjoy your new one, old friend.
All right, 270 experience, that's nice. Okay, so that will do it for chapter 15. Thanks everyone who tuned in, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.